All views shared herein are alleged, in my opinion, and for entertainment purposes, mostly. Hey, y'all, it's Up at a Unicorn, and I'm so excited to be with you, um, namely to just stand in solidarity with my girl, Dr. Shanita Foster. Um, I say my girl loosely. Um, you know, I, I don't know the doctor, but I certainly admire her. And um, this video is going to be called Scam Wear, <laughs> because Scam Wear. Um, for those of you who don't know, Dr. Shanita Foster has recently been featured on Love and Marriage Huntsville. You might remember her as a former NFL wife um, on a reality show with a much larger uh, network or older network than the Oprah Winfrey Network. Anyhow, sis is wearing that dress. Shanita, I want that dress. I want that dress. She probably don't even know where that dress is, child. I want that dress. Oh my God, <laughs> buddy, buddy, yaddy, 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 yaddy. Anyhow, um, Dr. Shanita is a philanthropist. She is a global ambassador. Um, and she goes back and forth to different places in Africa to make sure that, um, that the youth have what they need. Um, it, this really touches my heart in a very uh, personal place. Um, I was a toddler when Man in the Mirror came out and I was glued to the TV screen because I couldn't believe the uh, the flies and the starvation and, you know, these uh, atomic um, explosions, things that were going on. And it was Michael Jackson who ministered to my spirit. And to this day, Man in the Mirror is my favorite song uh, of all time. Man in the Mirror and Earth song by Michael Jackson. These are things that are very near and dear to my spirit. Um, and so when I talk about Shanita, it's personal for me because Shanita is out here living my dream. Uh, I was able to uh, volunteer very quickly in an orphanage in Kenya and very quickly in an orphanage in South Africa during my undergraduate years, but I always thought that I would just be out there in the field um, being not a missionary, but like just providing international relief and and doing what she does. So when I get sensitive about Dr. Shinida is because this is... Um, her work is the color of my soul. And so I took it really personally when that woman came on YouTube talking about scammer, 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 over 50 damn dollars, over 50 damn dollars because she didn't quite understand what she was doing or quite read, read the fine print about what was going on. And there is a great big millimeter divide over, you know, who's going to believe this girl versus who's going to believe Shanita. And I'm sorry, but does this look like a $50 woman to you? Look at where she's standing. Look at what she's wearing. Look at what she's holding. Like, does this look like a woman who needs to scam your $50? That hair on her head alone is, is, is a good grand. That Africa medallion on her chest alone. I, I mean, that cross, that bag, that watch, like, girl... Anyhow, I want to get back to the more positive details of the message because millimeters need to stand the fuck up because this is you. This is this is your money at work. Dr. Shanita said, the millimeters are going to build my orphanage, mark my words. And in this video on her Instagram channel, she specifically thanked Queen Sheba Darling in the palace for... Uh, buying the t-shirts that she's wearing now it says global change maker um i had someone take me to task for buying a global change maker t-shirt for wanting to be a part of that blessing and a part of that char charity but i'll get to that in another video because i mean this this video should just be beautiful all, all the way through so this is the construction shanita didn't think this would be done for another year but because the millimeters were activated y'all this is what you've done this is what you have done. You have held hands with somebody who made you a global change maker. It's not just a t-shirt. It's a title. It's what you've done, millimeters. It's what you've done. 
Mellow Meter sponsored backpacks. Look at the faces on these kids. Look how happy they are. Look how, how interested they are in every backpack. Look at like, oh girl, what'd you get? What'd you get? What'd you get? Oh, that's fly too. Okay, okay. I see you. Like, 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 look at the pride on their faces. Look at the joy. Look at the gratitude. Scam where? I'm sorry. Scam where? You don't like how the coach talked to you because she's a coach? <laughs> you, you don't like her attitude? You don't like the way she says, says things to you? You don't like that non-refundable uh, deposit fee of $50 for coaching? Okay, that's fine, but scam where? Look at her million dollar ass out there in red clay, in, in red dirt in a tent. You You can't tell me nothing about the doctor, honey. You can't tell me nothing about the good doctor, honey. <laughs> Not Dr. Shanita, you can't. Um, Shanita just had a birthday. Melody's birthday is tomorrow, 11-11. Um, but Shanita is also a Scorpio, I believe, and she just had a birthday. And she said for her birthday, you know, because people were calling her a begging ass bitch. And she was like, and I'm gonna keep begging. And what I want for my birthday is sanitary napkins for my girls. You know, she had a live stream where she talked about how in this uh, particular place, I wanna say Swaziland, but I'm not quite sure. Uh, and I don't wanna, you know, look, look at Shanita holding that chicken, holding that chicken. <laughs> Oh, no, chicken. Anyhow, um, she said, all I want for my birthday is sanitary napkins for the girls. And she talked about how, you know, a period shouldn't be a punishment and how there are girls who end up just not going to school while they're on their period because they can't afford sanitary napkins and the way that, you know, um, blood, menstrual blood is treated in their society. You know, Shanita would talk about how when she's on her period out there, she has to burn her sanitary napkins or whatever she uses. And I remember telling her uh, when I was in Kenya, and even when I go to certain like East African homes, based on how close they are to their culture, every pad I use, I would have to get up and go to the dumpster and throw it away, whether I was in America or Africa, just because of the way that certain people feel about menstrual blood. And so when I tell you these little girls, these little kids, these, these eight, nine and 10 and 11 and 12 and 13 and 14 year old girls get their period for the first time and they don't know what to do because they don't have. You know, especially if you've got a heavy flow, you know, wear, wearing a little rag ain't going to cut it. Wearing, you know, some rolled up piece of toilet paper. And, and I'm sorry, but you can go all over the majority of Africa and in public bathrooms. What you will not find is toilet paper. What you will find is a bucket and some water because they wash their asses after they use it. And that's something to be proud of. But what about when you have a consistent flow? The, the, then what? You can't just be in the bathroom all day rinsing it off. So, you know, getting these sanitary napkins is, um, it's a small deal to us, but it's a big deal to them. And I am grateful to uh, have made the acquaintance of Dr. Shanita. I am grateful to have the same t-shirt that she is wearing in that photo. Um, I believe very much in do unto others as you want them to do to you. If I have an honest cause, I want people to give to it. And when I see an honest cause, I too give to it. Um, at least what I have to give, I am reminded of the woman in the Bible with the two sparrows. There was a man who gave 10 talents of silver or gold, and there was a woman who gave two sparrows. And Jesus said, she get verily, this woman gave more than that man. She gave all she had. He was rich. He gave, you know, what, what was pennies to him. So even though he had more money, if you're, if you're talking about the greater sacrifice, this woman with the two sparrows gave it. And, um, I believe very much in the spirituality and the purification of charity. Um, It's just a very powerful thing to me, and I don't want to get too deep because I don't want this video to be too long. I got a lot of work to do today, but um, 
there are so many negative things going around about the Melameters. There's so much that Stormy and Destiny and Tisha are trying to do with our name. And I just want you guys to see this because this is you. A millimeter did that. Millimeters did that. Several hundreds of millimeters did this. Baby, this is you. Take a bow. You are her. You, you have arrived. You are global change makers, and that is something to be so proud of. And I just encourage you who are millimeters, who, you know, you let these people get in your head, and you're like, well, I'm not a millimeter, but, you know, well, I'm not a, well, no, be proud. Because when we get together and shake shit, we get together and shake shit. We are movers and shakers. We are people we should be proud to be. There's something very beautiful about doing good for goodness sake. Not for notoriety, not to be noticed, not to be, not to be fronting, not to be blowing a trumpet in front of yourself. You know, look at me, look at my actions, but just doing good for goodness sake. There's something very powerful and very groundbreaking and very universe shaking in that. The stars and the heavens and the and dark matter, they open up to your goodness. And they send you back the manifestations of your actions. And it's just a holy thing. It's just a sanctified thing. It's just a set apart thing. It's just an exalted thing. And you belong to a group of women who facilitates that for you and your soul over and over again. I dare one of you guys who has a prayer that you need to break through. I dare you to give some charity and then make that prayer. I dare you to let something like this, let that money exchange from one hand to the other, not letting your right hand know what your left hand is doing or, or vice versa. And then make that prayer and see if there's any barrier between that prayer and your Lord. Y'all did this. We, we, we did this. Be proud, please. I'm up to get out of here. Thank you for watching.